in this lesson we are going to solve exponential equations and at the top here we have a rule that's very important and basically it says if we have a base to some power and it's part of an equation that's going to equal the same base to another power and if that's the case then the exponents have to be equal so if I rephrase that if you have an equation and you have the same base, then the exponents have to be equal. So just a real quick, easy example to see here. If I have two to the fifth power equals two to the x power, notice I have the same bases here, so the exponents have to equal. So in this case, to make this a true statement, this x also has to be 5. So solving the equation, x is 5. So if we notice in part a, our bases are not equal. Here I have a base of 3, and then I have a base of 81. But 81, if we think, is a power of 3. So I can rewrite this statement keeping 3 to the x plus 1 power the same. And then I'm going to write 81 as a power of 3. And it's 3 to the 4th power that gives us 81. So now noticing that my bases are the same, my exponents now have to equal. So x plus 1 has to equal 4 subtract 1 on both sides, and x is 3. All right, so we're just finding the value of x that makes the equation true, and we're going to use some properties of exponents here. Now notice here on the left side, I have e to the negative x squared power. And on the right side, I kind of got a mess here. So if I use my properties of exponents in this part, I have e to the x and that whole thing is squared. So my property would be to multiply my exponent to, by 2. So this would be e to the 2x power. And this part right here would give me a negative exponent. So this would be times e to the negative third power. All right, so here I have e to the negative x squared, and over here I have e to the 2x times e to the negative 3. Both of my bases are e, so my exponents are going to equal. And if I combine these, um, remember if I have the same base, I add and subtract exponents. So this is really 2x minus 3. I put too many steps in one for you. So if my exponents are equal, I'm going to have minus x squared equals 2x minus 3. And this would give me a quadratic equation. So if I put this into standard form, I'm going to add the exponent over here to give me an equal 0. So I have x squared plus 2x minus 3. And I can use any of the ways I know how to solve a quadratic equation. I can factor, complete the square, use the quadratic formula. But this is easy factoring because the numbers that multiply to be 3, subtract to be 2, that would be 3 and 1. And 2 is bigger, or 2 is positive, so the bigger number is positive. And now I just set each factor equal 0. So x plus 3 is 0, and x minus 1 is 0. So x is negative 3, or x is positive 1. So in this case, I've got two solutions that would give me the correct answer. All right, in part C, I have both of these are in base E. Okay, so remember E is just um, a constant number, 2.7 something. 
but since I have the same base, my exponents are equal. So I have 3x equals 2 minus x. So if I add x to both sides, I'm going to have 4x equals 2, divide by 4, and x is 1 half. And the last one for today. Here I've got three different bases, but two and four and 16 are all powers of two. So I'm gonna rewrite this sentence having two as my base. So I know that four is two squared, and that's to the x power. And then I have a two to the x squared power equals 16 squared, and 16 is 2 to the fourth power, and I have this exponent here, so that's squared. So this means I have 2 to the 2x power, and then times 2 to the x squared power equals 2 to the eighth power. All right, very similar to the one that I did up here. So same base here, I have two to the two x plus x squared equals two to the eighth power. Now my bases are equal, so my exponents have to be equal. So I'm gonna write this little equation here. So I have two x plus x squared equals eight. And again, I'm gonna have a quadratic equation, so I'm gonna have x squared plus two x minus eight. All I did was subtract the eight on both sides to put it in standard form. Now I'm gonna factor, and this would be x plus four and x minus two. So x is negative four or x is two. And those are my two solutions.